what's good guys in today's video in this video i'll be doing a water change on my 29 gallon grow out tank it's just a couple goldfish you see right now but the main event is really the red tail and the popco which you can catch these two guys on the daily blog i post these daily today we're on day 75 so you guys need to tune in for that because we're almost at day 100 so that video will probably pop up on your left side or on your right side whenever you see it but for the most part catfish chilling and he finally made it into his cage but i just know the water just doesn't look too it doesn't look too good it's the clarity is not the way i want it but i got some additions i had got this i had another 25 and 29 gallon tank and i just got this filter i'm just gonna put this on the back and put some put some um just let it run and kind of help cycle all this because the sponge filter does a lot but it doesn't do a lot it just picks up the small particles and not some of the big particles if need be but it does its job for the most part. I'm going to make a video on my 75 gallon and how those aerators actually do well right now. But for the most part, man, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all want to see more of my videos. And with that being said, let's get into it. Yeah. First, I'm going to start by taking the light off. I really need to clean the light too because it's a little dirty. But you can kind of look and see. I like, did really not too got a little stench to it as well but that's what i'm gonna be putting this filter back here for but i can go with that being said i can go ahead and just put that on back here and just get into that but are you shot to the light now man comment down below what you think about this guy my daily uploads like Cause this guy changes color, so he's starting to get a little red pigment back up on his tail and stuff like that. So y'all just let me know. He's probably stuck right now. He'll get out. But for the most part, I'm finna prep and get the holes and stuff for the water change, and then I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. I kind of cut the water part, the water changing out because that's a little bit boring. I ain't really want to bore y'all with all that, but. As you guys see, I got it down low, a little bit of particles floating up. Catfish look good, doing well, but he really needs his water change. And the number one rule to actually having a healthy, growing red tail catfish that stays alive a long time, you definitely wanna do good water changes and make sure everything's up. So yeah, for the most part though, I did, I finally put the filter on here. I'm about to put the carbon in here and the little bit of zeolite that I've been using the matrix which has actually been doing pretty good y'all should try that out but the way I put it in here probably wasn't too effective but it helped but if I run it through this it might help a whole lot so be sure to tune in with that I'm gonna get ready to add the water bag I'll do a little time lapse for that too just to show how the water coming in and stuff like that but for the most part man like comment subscribe tune in for the next video turn on turn on post notifications and they say 100% of y'all are still not subscribed, man. What are we waiting on? It's free to subscribe, so just go ahead. But for the most part, I'll be back. Let me run the time lapse, and let's go. All right, guys. So I'm back. Ran a little time lapse for you guys, but this right here. I got a little thermostat from my other tank, so I'm just gonna put it in here so I can always keep good track of the um, keep good track of the water temperature. Y'all saw me lose it just now, but y'all ain't seen that. But then for the next part to finish off the filter, I really gotta add this in here. But I'm gonna take this clip off. I'm gonna take this clip off and I'm gonna add a little bit of matrix to this and zeolite to kind of help give it a little boost. But while I'm doing that, I was thinking about putting some plants in here to actually like help with the nitrates and nitrite levels with the ammonia and stuff. Cause once the fish poop, it's just like, just sits down there and gets all crumbled up 
but there's nothing in there to actually turn it into good beneficial bacteria. But I've been doing a little research and I've been seeing a couple YouTubers do it, so I might be the one to actually do it as well. Just trying to get a good bit in here. So. All right, so I'll put a little bit in here. Let's see how this does with the new filter. But since I put a thermostat on there, put the thermostat already in there, I can just. But yeah, I put a little bit of zeolite matrix in here. Remind me to clean that. Tell them, tell them, comment down in the comments and remind me to clean this. I'll probably clean it up after this video, but yeah, for the most part, you can see the little rocks in there with the carbon. So that's what I'm gonna put in there. That's the last thing. And then, supposed to be a little blue cartridge somewhere. Can you see the, oh, here it goes. Gotta clean it out right quick. Yes, I did not. But yeah, this is the blue thing just to help out. going to see it's a little hard to get them in there but next thing we need to do we need to add a little bit of water we just need a little bit of water in here so the propeller don't burn out and the rest is going to do itself Comment down below what you guys think about this video. I'm just adding a new filter on it, plus the sponge filter, so you're gonna have that. That's gonna pick up all the waste and stuff like that, cause it's gonna be pushing in, but it's gonna be also pulling as well. Then you got the sponge filter to pick up the micro, the smaller particles, like now, how you see how it's blowing, but Mr. Red Tail over here is stuck, but he'll get out of it. Yeah, for the most part, man, like, like, comment down below your favorite part of this video but with that being said i'm finna go plug it up and then i'll be back all right guys i just plugged it in as you can see it's trying to get a little bit more water but it should be spilling out pretty soon oh it's actually spilling out now already so i got this nozzle turned up all the way just to pull everything through to kind of get the crystal clear fast so So we did the water change, got the new filters put in, and we actually did a little bit of talking today about this guy and the Paku. But for the most part, man, this concludes my video. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see more in my videos. Because we got 27 sub subs right now. I'm trying to get to 100. Once we get to 100, then we can get to 1,000. So let's go, man. It's up to y'all. Y'all just have to subscribe. I'm gonna keep posting daily videos, but it's up to y'all. And subscribing is free. So why not watch me raise up my pits and stuff like that? But for the most part, this concludes my video. Be sure to see y'all in the next one.